Well, hello, churches. Pastor Brian back with you on another devotional. Actually, you're with me. Thank you for joining me tonight. I certainly do appreciate it. And I welcome you to come worship the Lord with us on Sunday mornings at 1030 at 3519 on Maple Avenue. We'd be delighted to have you come and worship the Lord with us on Sunday mornings. If you don't have a home church, uh, you're certainly welcome to come worship the Lord with us. And also on Wednesday nights uh, at 7 o'clock on Wednesday nights, we, we join together studying God's Word. And uh, this week we're studying out of the book of Psalms. And, and uh, I trust that uh, you'll be able to join us uh, at the next opportunity, either on a Wednesday night or on a Sunday morning. But I want to share a little devotional with you out of the book of Job. Out of the book of Job, chapter 19, and verse number 25, Job says there, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. It, you know how things happen whenever uh, the teacher leaves the classroom. Maybe they've given you some assignments, uh, they've told you to do some reading, read such and such, such, and such a pages, read such and such a chapter, uh, do this while I'm gone. I'll be right back. I, I'll be right back. Well, you know what happens. As soon as the teacher shuts the door behind them, usually the noise level begins to rise. There's a, maybe even a few that get out of their seats and begin to wander around the room. And the fact is, maybe even a scuffle will break out. Um, one thing that is certain to happen is that all of the assignments will be forgotten. And after all the teacher has said about them coming back, all that is forgotten, and the teacher is gone. The teacher left the room, and so uh, order has, has suddenly been dismissed. Well, I'm not going to ask if you were one of those rebels or if maybe you were one of the few that instantly got their books out and buried your nose and face in the book and began to read and follow the assignments and do what you were supposed to do. I'm not going to ask if you were a participant or a non-participant in those rebel activities. But uh, if you did, if you stayed a part of engaged in the class and doing what the teacher told you to do, you knew that when the teacher came back, things would be a whole lot more pleasant for you. Especially if the teacher would decide to pop a quiz on you and and ask you to, to try and, um, and uh, answer a few questions. Um, one thing for sure is, though, that sooner or later, some adult would come back to the classroom. You could guarantee somebody, either the teacher, the principal, another teacher, or teacher's aide, somebody was coming back to the classroom. Now, we're not told the details of, of, the, of Job's life. We're not told at all about that, but one thing we do know is that Job had everything. He had a great life. And then all of a sudden, he lost everything. And then in the process of time, God restored everything that had been taken away. And it was Job's unwavering, relentless faith in God that he was going to return and that he was his Redeemer would would return and that he would that is exactly what kept him faithfully serving and faithful to God our teacher our redeemer he will return someday he's promised he would and if if there's anything that the lord will do is that he will do exactly what he's promised he would do and he's promised that he would return and exactly that is what he's going to do we don't know when it's going to happen. It may be this week. It may be before you're finished watching this. It, it, might be for, it might not be for another year or two years. It might not be for five or ten. We don't know how long it's going to be. But we do know this, that Jesus is coming again. Now that's good news in and of itself. But here's some more good news. That is that we have been created and we have been given just exactly all that we will need to fulfill the Lord's plan for our lives if we will just stay faithful to Him. And when we do, we will be prepared for His return as well. Let me tell you something, folks. Eternity with Jesus will be worlds better 
than eternity separated from him. If we read the entire story of Job's life, we'll find that he had all of those things in life that a person could want, and even though he lost them, because he stayed faithful and because he stayed true to God, um, things ended well for him. And things will end well for us if we'll stay true and faithful to Jesus as well. God has the strength available for us today if we'll just trust Him and obey. There's a little song that goes something like this. says, The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. Strength for today is mine all the way. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. Folks, God is coming again. We're told, Paul writes in the New Testament, he says, encourage one another with these words, that the Lord is going to come again. And because He is coming, folks, I want to encourage you, stay faithful, stay true to Him, even though culture, even though society today will tell us that it is not worth it, it will be worth it to stay faithful, stay true to God. The students who were unruly while the teacher was gone usually got a second chance to correct their misbehavior. It, it, it didn't usually get them permanently expelled from, from school. Now, maybe that's what they wanted, but it didn't happen. But if the unprepared for the Lord's return, there will not be a, any do-overs for those who are not prepared for the Lord's return. Just go and read Matthew chapter 25. Hold on to God's promises and be ready for the Redeemer's return. He is coming again. Hold on and be faithful and true to Him. Let's pray together, friends. Father, thank You for Your blessings to us. Thank You, Lord, that You have given to us everything we need to live righteous and holy in this present age. And Father, I pray for that person today who is just feeling like life is not worth living, that feels like it's not worth it to hang on and stay faithful and true to You. We pray, Father, that You would encourage them and strengthen them. Bless them, Lord, that they would walk in fellowship and communion with Christ, knowing that it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. Lord, we ask for Your richest blessings upon that person today who needs the special help and encouragement of the Savior. Keep us, Lord. May our lives be pleasing in your sight. Bring us back together the next opportunity to worship you in person, uh, together with the family of God. It's in Christ's name we pray it all today. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, friend, for watching, for joining with me today. I trust the Lord's richest blessings will be upon you. God bless you until we see you next time. This is Pastor Brian. I love you, and I'm praying for you. God bless.